Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we have come into this season where we prepared ourselves to offer in this holy banquet. And um, Lent is a time for all of us to repent and return to God. In today's Liturgy of the Word, we offer up God's blessings to others as the disciples went to prepare for the banquet to be prepared to celebrate the Passover meal for Jesus. And there are also characters within us, like Judas, wanting to, planning to betray. And uh, we ask God's guidance in this Holy Mass so that God's Spirit will continue to empower us to walk that path of doing God's will in our life and not our own will. Therefore, humbly acknowledge our sinfulness, seeking God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know how to reply to the varied. He provides me with speech. Each morning, he wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore me at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am touched by the insults. So too, I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. My vindictor is here at hand. Does anyone start proceedings against me? Then let us go to court together. Who thinks he has a case against me? Let him approach me. 
The Lord is coming to my help. Who dares condemn me? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favor. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favor. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against me, you fall on me. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favor. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for compassion, for consolers. Not one could I find. For food, they gave me poison. In my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favor. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. The poor, when they see it, will be glad. And God's seeking hearts will revive. For the God listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in his chains. In your great love, O Lord, Answer my prayer for your favor. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You are led to your crucifixion as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Glory to you. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. One of the twelve, the man called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you prepared to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 silver pieces. And from that moment, he looked for an opportunity to betray him. Now, on the first day of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus to say, where do you want us to make the preparation for you to eat the Passover? Go to so and so in the city, he replied, and say to him, The master says, My time is near. It is at your house that I am keeping Passover with my disciples. The disciples did what Jesus told them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, he was at the table with the twelve disciples. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you most solemnly, one of you is about to betray me. They were greatly distressed and started asking him in return, Not I, Lord, surely. He answered, Someone who has dipped his hand into the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man is going to be his fate, and as the scripture says, he will. But alas for the man, but whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Better for that man if he had never been born. Judas, who was to betray him, asked in his turn, Not I, Rabbi. Surely, they are your own words, answered Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As the liturgy of the word inviting us, you know, as we have come to the final lap 
tomorrow onwards the great freedom will begin and we're going to prepare for the death and res resurrection as Jesus goes through this passion inviting all of us also to go through the purification process as I said in the beginning God is asking us to repent from our sinful ways and return to him and there are beautiful characters been given to us in today's gospel the first part of the gospel Judas Judas preparing and planning to betray Jesus and he received 30 silver pieces as what you going to do and that seems to be a book of Exodus highlighting to us a payment for a slave what type of value that we going to give for Jesus and how we in our own day-to-day -day life at times behave like Judas dealing with businesses dealing with different individuals we too at times behave like Judas and there are other disciples in second part of the gospel highlighting to us on the day unleavened bread they come came to Jesus and asked where do you want us to prepare for the meal and uh, they went and prepared. Jesus did not indicate the person's name. Matthew writing to us, he says, go to so and so in the city. And likewise, go to so and so in Shalom or wherever you are coming from. He is as though he's asking each one of us, are we willing to welcome Jesus? You know, sometimes as priests, we ask for BC masses some parishes they have difficulty to open houses their houses for BC masses you know most of them will be joyful to have the BC masses or BC prayer in their houses but some families they find it difficult and here this man is allowing Jesus to come and greet banquet there are also stories being told about this whose house it could be and there is one writer highlighted to us this could be the house of the wedding couple at Cana why at that time when mother Mary told Jesus they are running short of wine Jesus told my hour is not yet his time has not come but in today's gospel he says my time has come and prepare for the banquet go to so and so house that's a logic they are giving to give that interpretation that that wedding at Kema, Kena was done for this particular couple that's why they are willing to offer their house for Jesus to celebrate now coming back into our own life what type of personality that we have within ourselves are we like Judas or are we like the other disciples who are preparing for Jesus to celebrate the great banquet and this banquet is also Prophet Isaiah is highlighting to us that we will have the disciples here and the disciples tongue this last Sunday's first reading and Jesus is saying to us we need to have the disciples here and tongue so that we will be able to listen and speak the language of God to do his will why precisely in today's response to the psalm the psalm is saying to us my zeal for the house will burn within me and the zeal for house of God will burn within us and we realize our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and therefore we need to always walk in that path of responding to God's will and uh, we see Jesus accomplishing the mission tomorrow day after tomorrow and Easter Sunday we will see how gloriously he is resurrecting because he did the will of the Father by dying for us on the cross and likewise we too are called to do so today in this Eucharist we pray so that the Spirit of God will empower and guide us to do the will of the Father and not our own will as Judas betrayed Jesus but uh, like the disciples prepared for the great banquet to offer the sacrifice amen
Bless thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, which others given in human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the wine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe has vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once again he gave it thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Julian our Bishop, and all the bishops and clergy and religious everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, a spouse of Blessed Apostles, Glorious Martyrs, 
and all the saints who have throughout the ages merit because to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ Through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray our, our father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but at the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have of the world grant us peace behold the lamb of god behold him takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who call to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed
Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Now the time of grace has come, the day of salvation. Come and learn now the way of our God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. I will take your heart of stone and place a heart within you, a heart of compassion and love. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. If you break the chains of oppression, if you set the prisoner free, if you share your bread with the hungry, give protection to the lost, give shelter to the homeless, clothe the naked in your midst, then your light shall break forth like the dawn. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which we revered mysteries bear witnesses, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly for the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come and persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth. They may be led by the Lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed Holy Triduum, friends. I will be enjoying my, my parish. You all, if you are able to go for Mass, good. If not, otherwise you watch the live telecast and continue to pray for each other. Okay? Pray for all the priests, especially during this time. 
back to back masses to continue to keep each other in prayer. Thank you. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There's a precious fountain free to all a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river